Goo -goo -boo -boo. Our first experiment is a swollen belly. So what is a swollen belly? Let's make this balloon fat, real fat. So for this, we're gonna need some citric acid and some baking soda and some water. That's all. Step number one. So first step, we're gonna have to put one spoon of citric acid into this 150 ml water. So let's fill it. So, it smells like salt. And now we're gonna mix it until this material is all. So, now we're gonna pour it in heat. And I'm gonna need the parents' help to put this balloon on the funnel. So, we're putting it like this because we wanna put the baking soda in our in our balloon. So. Yep, so I took out the funnel. So now I'm gonna place the balloon and put it on the mouth of the flask. And then when the baking soda pours in, the fun begins! I already put the balloon on the flask. Since baking soda is alkaline and the citric acid is acidic, when they two combine, they create a massive amount of carbon dioxide, which blows up Mr. Balloon. Hi, everybody. What do we have here? Hydro hydrogen peroxide and yeast. It's an experiment we're gonna do. This is our setting. I used a funnel so we can pour everything in. I don't have a plastic bottle, but it's recommended to use. So, now, before we start, you're gonna need safety goggles and some gloves because if you get some hydrogen peroxide on your hands, it might get an itchy or burning feeling. First, we're gonna pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Be extra careful. I need to add one more. It will be a half cup. Whoops. That's gonna be a half cup. Now I'm gonna pour this whole thing and into our water, which is warm. Let me mix it, but if you wanted the exact measurement, it's three tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of yeast. The fun time part, putting the colors. I'm gonna put yellow and blue. So do you guys notice anything? Looks like green, like dark green. And this is actually cold. It's like normal room temperature. Next, it's time to pour in the dish soap. It doesn't have to be the exact measurement. Oh, it's good enough. Hope this works. Time to pour in the yeast. Elephant toothpaste. So what's happening here? What makes foam, the foam appear when the hydrogen peroxide comes into contact with the yeast 
it starts breaking down into water and oxygen, yeast is a catalyst that helps release oxygen molecules from the hydrogen peroxide. Oxygen is a gas and therefore it wants to escape from the liquid, but because of the dish shelf, the gas bubbles traps, trap and make foam. So I assume without this shelf, we would have bubbles, but not foam. So let me touch and see if this is warm. It is a bit warm, yeah. Why is it warm? Because there's a thing called exothermic reaction. An exo thermic reaction is a chemical reaction that releases energy through light or heat. In this case, it's heat. See how foam I it. Touched it because I was wearing my safety gloves, but do not touch it without gloves. Wow, what are we gonna do with dry erase marker two in one? That's pretty fancy. With a dish. What are we gonna do with them? So first, we're gonna draw something. And I'm gonna draw. And now with the water, what are we gonna do with that? We're gonna pour it in slowly. You have to pour it slowly. Why are these even floating? One, dry erase markers are insoluble, which means they don't dissolve in water. That means they don't wash up in the water and then make the water colorful instead of these arts. Two, they are less dense than water. That means they can flow. And three, they are not very sticky, so they can easily come off which means that dry erase markers aren't that sticky. Today, we're gonna do an experiment. But, just with two ingredients? I mind you. <laughs> so this experiment is called bounty egg or colorful egg. So for this, we're gonna need a raw egg, vinegar, or some colors which are optional. Well, I'm putting them because I like colors. So let's get started. First, we're gonna open this mason jar or jar, whatever. We're gonna put the egg in. The next step is for three, uh, three drops of blue. So let's mix it up. So let's pour. Look at these beautiful bubbles. Whoa. After two days, these will turn bouncy. Boing, boing, boing. Do you know why the bubbles are forming? Because the eggshell is made out of calcium carbonate, while the vinegar is acidic. Um, and the calcium carbonate is alkaline. So when you combine the eggshell with the vinegar, they create the bubbles, and the bubbles are created by carbon dioxide. So, after 72 hours, here's our egg. Now, I'm gonna take it out and wash it. So let's do it. 
Do you guys know what is the principle behind our bounty egg experiment? As you know, the eggshell is made out of calcium carbonate, which is alkaline. So, when we soak our egg into the vinegar, which is acidic, the eggshell will absorb the acid and break it down or dissolve. This leaves behind the rubbery membrane that allows us to bounce the egg without breaking it. Man, that's cool. Now I'm gonna try to cut the egg and see what's the yolk inside. Oh, it looks like a normal yolk. Hey, let's make a pancake. Just joking, we can't. Do you guys wanna know why the yolk didn't change? Because the protein content of the yolk prevents it from absorbing the color. When I was young, I used to love this experiment. It's called walking water. So I filled them up with all three primary colors and the other three are empty. Now I'm gonna place them in a circle. We need some rolled up piece of kitchen roll or paper. So let's do it. Then, use another one. As you can see, the water is walking a bit. After a few minutes, let's see if we made one, two, and three colors. So here I'm back after a break, which was a few hours, and here it is. So these colors, the primary colors, created the secondary colors, like red and blue made purple, red and yellow made orange, and yellow and blue make green. I call this the walking water experiment, but do you want to know the, what's the experiment principle? Well, come on, let me show you. Colored water travels up because of the capillary action. What is capillary action? It means the ability of a liquid to flow upward against gravity in narrow spaces. And because of this action, water moves through the roots of the plants to their leaves. As you can see, when you mix two primary colors, you get one secondary color. Say for example, red and yellow made orange. As you can see on this part, the water stain. Even though it's still a bit wet, water is not. Thanks for watching and also share support by subscribing my channel and also following me on Facebook and Instagram. Bye bye.